Hi guys, my name's Jeff. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I want to talk with you about VTI. It's a representative sampling of all the stocks in the United States, large, medium, small. Now I got the idea for this video because I had a few friends over last weekend and we were just hanging out in the yard and we were talking about this and that. They're filmmakers and into other like creative fields and I mentioned to them that I invest and that I've written a book about investing in stocks and also a book about investing in ETFs and I asked them, you know, if they invest on their own, if they have any kind of investment. And they told me that they don't, but that they know that they should, and they're kind of interested in doing it. And, you know, they were like all years, they were interested, but you know, you get that feeling sometimes when you bring something up, when you float an idea balloon, sometimes people just are very excited and you have a feeling they're gonna take action. And then sometimes you just feel like this is one other idea, piece of information that's floating across their screen that day and they're probably not gonna act on it. You know, it reminds me a little bit of that saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. I feel like with investing, for some people, it's just immediately obvious that this is something that they can do, it will be good for them, kind of like brushing your teeth and flossing or getting a vaccine so that you're protected against some deadly disease. It just instantly makes sense and you decide, yes, I'm gonna do this, or it just doesn't take and you just let it drift by. Maybe you worry about things later in life. But anyways, I thought I'd make this video to talk with you a little bit about uh, how to get started and sort of how to begin, how to, how to think about investing. Now, you know, there are lots of different ideas out there. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you know there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of channels devoted to all kinds of different ideas. So consider this one idea that I'm sharing with you. And, you know, I have invested in stocks and I've also invested in mutual funds and index funds. And I'd have to say that unless you want to devote a lot of your time and your energy to becoming a stock analyst or a stock researcher, I think it makes a lot of sense just to buy a, an index fund or an index fund ETF. You've probably heard about index funds and if you haven't, I'm just going to make it very simple. Rather than selecting one stock and picking one stock to invest in, you know, for example, Nike or Starbucks or Amazon or Facebook or whatever, you buy a collection, a basket of stocks. Here's the ETF I'm talking about. It's called the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF and it's got a ticker symbol of VTI. The number one holding in this particular ETF is Apple and then the number two holding is Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, Tesla, Nvidia, Berkshire Hathaway, Meta Platforms, United Health Group, and Johnson and Johnson. And these, as you can see, are the 10 largest holdings, and there are 4,124 stocks. Now, this particular ETF, the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, is got a ticker symbol of VTI. So, if you were to go onto a brokerage app, if you go to a brokerage platform and you wanted to buy shares of that, you just use those three symbols. And then in your investment, whether you buy one share or two or three or four, you actually get all 10 of those companies plus more than 4,000 other companies. They're large caps, mid caps, and small caps, or large companies, middle sized companies, and small sized companies. You know, there's a lot of talk and ideas about which ETF and which fund makes the most sense. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. I think it's more valuable to just begin investing than pick the perfect ETF or the perfect fund. And just so you'll know, ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. It's just a fund or a collection of stocks that trades on an exchange. It's a kind of funny name that's hard for people who are just starting out to understand, but just take my word for it, an ETF is an exchange traded fund. Some people just select an ETF that invests in the 500 largest companies, and that's fine too. What I think you should be careful of is paying attention to people, whether it's on YouTube or anywhere else, 
that suggest or have ideas for stocks that they think will make you rich because you have no idea whether that stock is particularly a great stock or one that's well suited for you. And you also don't know the person talking about it, what their track record is. And I just think this is really important to pay attention to. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of the people talking about stocks and investing do not have verifiable results. They do not have any kind of regulated way of disclosing what kinds of returns they get every quarter or every year. These are things that are required of anybody who runs a publicly traded mutual fund or ETF or a company that has requirements to report to the SEC. But when people are just talking on YouTube channels, the claims that they have this return or that return um, is just, it's something that you would have to believe, but you have nothing to benchmark that against. So I would just say, before you even consider investing in an ETF, look it up, look at the total returns of that particular fund over the last five years, 10 years, or whatever, whatever time period you can, just to see what that fund has returned. It doesn't mean your returns are gonna match that. In fact, they're gonna be different in the future, but you want to, considering any investment, you just want to get an idea of what the past performance has been of any fund or any investment, just so you can get an idea of whether this has been managed well and whether the people claiming that they're giving, you know, investing ideas to you are any good at what they do. Now, there's one other thing I want to say. My friends who were over, I mean, it was a lot of fun talking with them about this stuff. Um, but I had one friend who was visiting and he said, oh, and by the way, when you invest in stocks or in ETFs or whatever, whenever you invest, you have to have an exit strategy. So you know when you're buying in and you know when you're gonna exit. And I didn't say anything about this at the time because you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But I would say if you are investing because you wanna have your money grow over the long haul, you know, like 10 years, you, this is money you're not gonna need for 20 years or 25 years, but this is money to grow in the long run. I don't think you should be thinking about an exit strategy because this is just giving you, you know, a parachute so you can escape your decisions. I think you should make a sensible decision and stick with it and not worry when you make the decision when you're going to exit it. Um, I think obviously there are times when you might need to sell some of your shares to make a purchase, but I don't think that going into an investment thinking about how you're going to get out of it is a really uh, useful or healthy investment kind of mindset. So anyways, that's just something, uh, and that's a personal view I have. I'm sure a lot of people believe that any investment has to have a plan for exiting, but um, I've invested you know, over the long run and without any distinct plan for selling at any time. When I bought a house, I did need some money to buy that, so I sold some of my shares to buy the house for the down payment. But anyways, that's just something I thought you know, when you go into it, I think a mindset that you're investing for the long run makes sense, not I'm investing right now and next year I'm maybe gonna exit because I think that puts a lot of pressure on you to make some kind of a decision and having a constant belief that you need to change something soon can be, uh, I just think, a, a mindset that's not very relaxing and not conducive to being an investor for the long run. Term. And finally, I think whenever you're assessing whether some other investor is good at what they do, look at their long-term results. Look at their 10-year, their 20-year. I know I mentioned this earlier, but you know the great investors like, like Warren Buffett or Peter Lynch or Jim Simons, they're great investors because they did what they did for not only 10 years or 20, they did this for like 30 years and they showed that no matter what the environment, they had the the mental attitude, they had the process, and they had the equanimity to remain invested and to stick with their system, whatever that system was, through thick or thin. And I think that's what you want. If you wind up going the route where you choose a person or choose a fund or choose some kind of an investment vehicle, 
Um, but anyways, I think this all comes back to uh, figuring out whether you want to trust somebody else or trust some specific stock with your money or go the fun route. I think uh, different setups, different forms of investing work for different people. And I think uh, doing something with your money other than safeguarding it in the bank forever is definitely worth thinking about. And if you want to just get started, I think an index fund or an index fund ETF like VTI make a lot of sense. I'm glad that you watched this. If you have any questions, I hope you'll put them below in the comment section. And um, you know, if you like this video, give it a like, that way it'll be you know, shown to other people in the YouTube world. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, consider hitting the subscription button. And that way, you know, you'll get a heads up, especially if you hit the notification bell. <laughs> if I keep hitting the mic too. But um, yeah, please do subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.